Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days of Dying Alpha 20. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, uh, it is Horde 21, so we will be doing Horde Night uh, later on in the episode. Uh, but I think I have found our new place to live. So we are basically um, out in the boonies a little ways, um, not super far from Wrecked, uh, and we got this highway we can just come into town on. Uh, but I was just out driving around uh, last night, and I came across this cabin, and I thought, you know what, that's kind of a cute little place. I think we'll go ahead and make it work. So it is, you know, a, a questionable place, but I think it's only a tier one. It's not likely uh, we're going to be doing any more tier one quests anyway. So, uh, yeah, I think that'll be fine. Uh, so what we're going to do right now is keep an eye on that mountain line, make sure it stays over that way. Uh, but we are going to clear this place first before we head back for Horde 21. And uh, I got, uh, like I said, I do have a load of things to uh, to drop off here too. I might leave that wood there just because it looks it looks so cool, you know. Um, we, I mean, we have plenty of wood around here. So anyway, let's get the place cleared for now. And, you know, I'll, I'm not worried about getting the land claim block or anything like that down because once we clear it, it'll stay clear for several days before it repops. And by then we'll be moved in uh, with the land claim block down and all that. Oh, look at that. <laughs> it supplied us a puffer coat. Any chance this one's better than the one we have? Um, by 0. 0.7, it's 23.3, um, this is 24, so ours is actually just a smidge better. Not significantly so, but a smidge better. Yeah, I'm familiar with this cabin, I've actually done this many times, I think this was an Alpha 17. Um, so yeah, we'll just clear it. Sounds, sounds like we got the attention of the mountain lion. Is he out here? Oh, hey, get out of here. You too. Okay, that mountain line's a little concerning. Um, and Big Bomb is in the way. So we're going to have to wait for her to, to move so we can block it and then deal with this guy. So yeah, we'll have to figure out how we're going to... Uh, you know, fortify the place, whether that be a wall or a moat or something. I haven't decided that yet, but we'll we'll figure that out as we as we go here. Okay, big mom's out of the way. So what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna upgrade these guys, and we'll deal with the mountain lion uh, using uh, firepower. Uh, so we'll just unload with him on our shotgun, and then make sure everything else is loaded. Then we have the AK. guys are really tough man sounds like we got a Larry coming in so we might as well deal with him too it looks like he's stuck out there Harvest this guy. Yeah, we we definitely need to spec in the hunting if we're gonna live out here. Uh, it only it only makes sense, you know. Oh, look at you, being clever there, buddy. Shoot you in the ass. Okay, there's a bunny. All right, so I um, guess we're gonna have to replace this door now. <laughs> Uh, so we'll do that. Let's get the rest of the place cleared out here. And then, uh, like I said, we've got to head back for um, uh, get ready for Horde Night. Which we don't really need to do anything to get ready for Horde Night because the base is all ready to go. Um, yeah, so. Uh, okay, let's uh, finish clearing this place out. We're going to have a couple Zeeks upstairs. Oh, look at that. we got a, an AK. A um, couple places, or Zeeks upstairs that we'll have to clear out. And then uh, we'll put a drop chest down and unload all the stuff I brought out here. And then we'll head back. Did, did he die? Yeah, he did. Okay, I think that clears the place. 
Yeah, this is a cute little cabin. We'll fix it up, make it look nice. Another backpack there. Even has its own workbench, though it doesn't work. <laughs> no surprise there, right? I mean, I'm not, I don't even know if it's possible to find working workstations in the world in Alpha 20. I sure haven't found any. Okay, let's just leave that there. Uh, what I'm going to do is... How much room is in this? Let's open it up and see. Ah, that there's yeah, there's not enough room. I mean, not the room of a normal chest. Plus, I don't want to store stuff up here anyway. Ooh, that's a nice upgrade. Wow. Um. Okay. Here we should be able to carry. Let's do this. Yeah, so we're wearing a purple scrap chest. This is a purple iron, so it's got almost three more. Actually, it does have uh, 3.2 more armor. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, welcome to the snow biome, right? <laughs> Stuff's a lot better out here. Okay, modify. Let's grab this off of here, and we want to put it on here. All right, there we go. Very nice upgrade. What is our armor rating right now? It is uh, 55.98. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, all right, so I guess that's it for uh, loots up here. Uh, we got a couple things in there and a couple things in here. Uh, all right, so here's what we're going to do. Let's go. Let me just poke my head in here. There's nothing to loot in here. Uh, we got this picture here, but it doesn't have anything behind it. We got a person here. Let's just see what's inside of it. Okay, some dollar dollar bills. And um, so, yeah, what I think we'll do here is uh, let's open this door up. And we'll f I'll have to figure out, you know, how I'm going to actually arrange the house in terms of crafting stations. You know, we'll put our bedroll upstairs, most likely. And um, where's my axe at? You know, get all that figured out, too. But we don't have to figure that out right now, of course. What? In the hell? Why wasn't that hidden? I, I might not even put a door there. I mean, I'm not sure what the point of it is, of having one there is. We probably don't need it. Okay, this will be our kitchen, of course. Let's check out the sink. Okay. Might as well just finish the looting. We might uh, end up putting um, actual... No, not that. Uh, or replacing these these cupboards with actual cupboards later on just to make things look cool. We got a working refrigerator that we'll put food in. Not that we need to, but it just makes things a little more realistic. So, yeah, I like it. Got a fireplace in here. So, pretty nice place overall. It just requires a little bit of cleanup, but I think we're gonna, I'm going to enjoy this place. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to just temporarily put down a chest. Uh, so, I need a little more room to put some stuff in that we don't need to take back with us which is most of this and uh, let's make a chest here and I'll be making the you know the big chest that we can label uh, when we you know, when we set up our permanent storage but for now this is just all temporary so um, I want to put this kind of in a place see this wouldn't be a bad this is the entry room so this wouldn't be a bad place but blah bad place for us to have our storage um but let's just put that right there for now and i'm gonna load it up with a bunch of stuff and then uh head back to our original town while i'm thinking about it though i wouldn't likely lose this let's go ahead and uh, save this waypoint and we're gonna call this our home it will not be our our horde base we'll have to build a new horde base of course in this area um, but it'll be our home. So now we got that marked. So, okay. So yeah, I'm going to unload guys, head back to our original base. And from there we will do our horde night. And when that is finished, then we will uh, bring another load out here and start moving in. So I will see you 
Um, I might, depending upon how time goes, I might actually see if I can move a couple loads out here and maybe not bring you back until the Horde night starts. But we'll see how things go. Okay, so see you guys in a bit. Bye. All right, guys, we are back, and it's almost time for the Horde to start. Uh, so I have all this stuff in my inventory here. Uh, extra ammo. In fact, all the ammo that I have is in my inventory <laughs> at the moment. I'm not planning on doing a lot of gun work tonight, but, uh, I mean, you know, we're, we're, we're pretty well supplied if we do need to do it. I'm still mostly going to use the sledgehammer. Um, we got stuff for medical and stuff for repairs and all that sort of thing. So, um, we should be ready to go. And if, if I didn't show you guys this already, um, I made a big ramp on the side out here. I was going to do that side too, but because this is probably the last time we're going to use this horde base, uh, I just figured, well, it should be fine on that side. It's so unlikely that they would destroy that entire ramp, uh, you know, tonight, uh, that I'm just really not too worried about it. So hopefully we don't get a lot of a lot of cops spitting because, you know, this isn't a super strong base, but um, I'm, you know, I'm not super worried about it. Maybe a little concerned, but, you know, because it is 21, but I think we'll we'll probably manage. Uh, we are also game stage uh, 45, too. So, yeah, let's give this a shot and see what happens here. I'm almost to the next level. Um, so, man, those guys can hit far. I need to stand back just a little further. Uh, yeah, but I'm almost to the next level here, too. So hopefully, if, if everything goes really well, we might be able to actually pull off two levels tonight. Uh, so we'll work on it. There's that first level. Uh, maybe even maybe even three levels in total, but two effective levels. So we'll just see how things go. The thing I love about this sledgehammer so much is it, you know, it has such good uh, AOE uh, to it, you know. Okay, I hear stuff banging over there, so I'm not sure what that's about, but if the majority of them continue to path through here, that's the main thing we want them to do. Okay, what's getting banged on over there? It's like they're climbing up on the side or something. I don't know. It's weird. My biggest concern, like I said, is going to be cops. Yeah, see, they're not hitting any of this, which is great. They're hitting the sidewall over there, which is not ideal, but it's better than them directly hitting this, so... Oh, nice. Look at that. Night vision goggles. That's a nice little surprise. Or surprise. Prize. I guess it was kind of a surprise, too. What the hell are you guys doing over there, man? Just path over here. They're going, I don't want to get hit by your big-ass sledgehammer. That's what they're saying. Oh, I love the sledgehammer, you guys. It's so awesome. What in the hell are they doing? Hmm. That is really... It's a little concerning. I guess if they brought that whole side down... We still have this side in the front, so we probably would be okay, but... I just Let's hope that that doesn't actually happen, though. Um, this is definitely probably the maximum extent that this base, as it currently is, could handle. Um, you know, Horde 21. Uh, I wouldn't want to do Horde 28 in this base as it currently is configured. Okay, let's take a coffee. Hmm. Yeah, I'm a little little concerned about what's going on over there. We can't really see out there. I mean, I suppose I could jump out there really quick and then jump back, but if I miss that jump, I'm hosed. So let's not take any unnecessary chances here. Okay, we're already a third of the way to the next level, which is awesome. We just gotta, they just gotta keep coming for the whole night for us to really get that XP. I'm gonna have to do another uh, chest too. As I often like to say, that's a nice problem to have, right? Not sure what we're going to do for the next horde design. It'll be over in the snow biome by our house, whatever it happens to be, but I'll be thinking about it. The best designs allow you to both melee and also use, um, you know, firearms as needed. 
Yeah, they are not touching anything over here, so we're still okay. That just needs a little touch. I mean, they haven't even hit any of this, really, to speak of. Okay, stand back a little more, OG. Their reach is a lot longer than it should be, I think. <laughs> Larry the Lumberjack. We're going to be thumping him a lot as we move to the snowbound. Yeah, I hear blocks are breaking over there. The AI is telling them that those blocks are supporting this side of the base. We are just wrecking with this sledge, man. Just putting them down. I love it. I'm surprised that one missed Darlene there. Alright, we'll take it. Pretty decent loot overall. Nothing absolutely phantasmagorical, but still good stuff. Useful stuff. Doggy. Doggy doggy. I'm really curious to see what they're doing out there. Uh, man, we're 11 things encumbered. We, we better not. I mean, I'm going to have to probably put a chest down anyway. Uh, let's get one made. That was awesome that we found those night vision goggles. <laughs> okay, come on, guys. You got to stay up here long enough for me to at least get a headshot off on you. And, uh, almost all the damage that is up here is from me missing their swing and hitting them. It's funny. Yeah, that dog has a hard time staying on there. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Come on, Zombos. Wow, we really thumped uh, Jiggly there from a long ways away. Stay there. Doggone it. <laughs> yeah, doggone it. That's the that's the key word, right? All right, let's pop that uh, knee shot. Oh, ow, that's got to hurt. <laughs> that has got to hurt like a mother. Okay, guess we'll just wait here for a second. Get, let our stamina get back up until we get a new customer here. We are getting close to the next level. That's amazing. If this keeps up, we should expect to walk away from maybe three levels tonight when it's all said and done. Yeah, those dogs just, they do not have, or they cannot stay on those things. It's mostly good, but kind of bad because I can't kill them. Oh, now he's staying down there. Get him right in the teeth. All right, let's take another coffee. There's some loot. <laughs> Every time I swing, I miss those dogs. Yeah, right, we got a hit off on him that time. It seems like they can walk out on it, but as soon as they lunge, then they lose their footing. Man, look at that delivery of the loot. It's just amazing. Okay, here, we gotta we gotta get a thing down. Um, so we'll just put it in the same place we did last time. And get some of this extra stuff out of our inventory. Uh, we don't wanna be encumbered. Uh, put this back here. And did, 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 we'll put one of those in there. Okay. Hey, get off of there.
We'll use the shotgun for the dogs if we have to. All right, guys. Well, it is midnight, and uh, so far, everything's going well. As you can see on my XP bar, uh, the purple bar there, we are just about at the next level. And so, um, I'm going to uh, probably go ahead and um, do the usual where we, you know, do our... Oh, look at that. You got it inside. Good for you. Uh, where we do our... Um, our time lapse and music montage thing until morning because as long as everything goes well it's pretty much just going to be the same thing for the rest of the night but hopefully we'll get that extra that extra level um after this one so so two more after the one we have all right guys so i'll keep the recorder running as usual do some time lapse uh, as long as nothing super crazy happens i will see you in the morning Well, um, I'm starting to wonder if we killed the horde, or it's really slowed down if we have it. We got a couple of crawlers, zombies with their legs taken out. Um, we're definitely not getting any more waves. All right, well, here, let's, um... Let's hop on out here and see. Here, we'll grab both of these while we're down here. Okay, so we got this zombie here. And I thought I saw another one crawling around too. Combat music is still playing. Huh. All right. Well, where is that final Zeke? Interesting. Okay, so this is what they did. They took out this block here. Oh, there you are. That's it. All right, we killed the horde again. Wow. See, I thought... I thought they'd keep coming all night uh, starting on 21. Somebody told me that, but apparently that is not accurate. <laughs> uh, but anyway, yeah, they were beating up on this. Um, these blocks here, but they didn't touch any of this, which is really interesting. Um, and then one of those blocks was taken out down there, and then along the side down there. 
They didn't do really anything at all to the ramp. They did a pretty good number on this, but I mean, you know, these blocks are also stuck to the to the ground. So even if they'd taken all those out, it still wouldn't have really compromised our integrity. So overall, I think the the base did really well for Horde 21 and still being uh, largely a cobblestone base. Um, so yeah, can't complain, man. Can't complain. All right. Well, let's see. We got uh, two levels and then about a third uh, of another way uh, or of the other way. So I think what I'm going to do um, is I'm going to put those two levels into advanced engineering right now to get to Tinkerer so we can make a cement mixer. And then I think we're going to be finished with intellect for a little while. I am going to come back to it. I do want to get better barter and daring adventurer too, actually. Um, and eventually we'll try out robotics inventor so we can make the, you know, the drone thing. But for the most part, I think we're done with that. We're going to go back to strength and we're going to get 69er load, boomstick and skull crusher maxed out. And then we're going to focus on fortitude because uh, uh, one of the th ones I want is the huntsman because uh, we've talked about that. Um, this is also going to give us machine gunner. It's going to give us brawler, healing factor, maybe iron gut, uh, and definitely pain taller. So we got a lot of good stuff uh, in the fortitude tree that we want to start working on now. But uh, definitely the next horde night will be a, it'll be a concrete base because we just learned the concrete. But man, I'm I am just amazed at how well this little base. You know, it's very simple, has held up even all the way to day 21. Um, very proud of it. <laughs> Very proud of it. It's done such a good job. Now, you know, if we would have had to contend with cops, it would have been a little bit different story in that case just because of the fact that, you know, their spit would have done some pretty major damage to the side of the base. Um, you know, if I would have been able to keep up with it, which I probably would have been able to, but, you know, that could have, you know, potentially been a problem there. So, uh, but fortunately we didn't get any cops and uh, it went really well. Okay, let me just take this thing out for now. All right, you guys. Well, um, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap this one up a little earlier than we normally would. Um, just because we're kind of just at a really good stopping point here. Can I even make that jump? Oh, just barely. <laughs> Being max encumbered here. Um, yeah, so we're going to wrap it up. And what I'm going to do is... Why can't... Oh, I can't pick it up because my inventory is full. That... Mm. I should be able to because I got that. You know what? We don't need that bullshit. There. Okay. Um, And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just work on getting moved to the new base. And once I get that largely done, um, we'll start the next episode. And um, I'll probably do some of my new base stuff on camera. You know, getting set up in some of the organization, or at least give you, you know, bring you guys updates on that. Um, and yeah, we'll go from there. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, uh, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye bye.